Hi, I'm Ollie. In this video I'm going to be doing a quick spec comparison of the Nexus 4 and the Samsung Galaxy S3. As you can see they're both pretty similar sizes. The, uh, the Nexus 4 is slightly thicker, coming in at 9.1mm, uh, whereas it's uh, 86 for the S3. Uh, Design-wise on the back, uh, I think the, uh, the Nexus has got a really nice design. If you can just see there's that catches there. I'll show you the, uh, the thickness at the side. Both feel really nice to hold in the hand, not a lot of difference in weight, 139 grams for this and 133 grams for the S3. Um, both got similar screen size, 4.7 on the Nexus 4, 4.8 on the S3. Both again similar resolutions, 1280 uh, long ways for both of them, whereas the, uh, the Nexus 4 is 768 and it's 720 on the S3. So you're getting a true um, 16 to 9 screen on here, whereas it's more like 16 to 10 on the, uh, on the Nexus 4. So you, the pixel density for this is 320 uh, pixels per inch, whereas it's 306 on the, uh, on the S3. Both got quad-core processors. The S3 is 1.4, whereas it's 1.5 gigahertz on the, uh, on the Nexus 4. Um, the international version of the X S3 comes with one gigabyte of RAM, whereas the, uh, the US one's two gigabytes. Two gigabytes on the Nexus. Both don't seem to struggle either way, so it's not really too much of an issue there. Obviously the Nexus 4 isn't user expandable, whereas the, uh, the S3 is. Both got 8 megapixel cameras, both shoot 1080p video, 30 frames a second, so uh, that's obviously a good feature. Wireless charging looks like it's built in on the Nexus 4, whereas you have to change the backlight on the S3, it's still not available, so the Nexus 4 might beat it there. Battery size is very, very similar on both, should expect similar battery life. Now the one kind of winning feature about the Nexus 4 is the price, £239 for the 8 gig which is really, really cheap considering uh, you're still talking about £400 for an S3. Um, so specification-wise, very, very similar, but uh, price-wise, the uh, Nexus 4 definitely wins in, uh, in that department. I suppose really it's going to take a bit of time with the Nexus 4 to see how the build quality holds up and everything. I just thought I'd give you a quick rundown of the spec being as I've got both phones available. I uh, hope this video has helped. If it has, if you could like it on YouTube, it would be much appreciated. Any questions, ask below. If you want to subscribe to my channel, I've got loads of phone reviews tips, cases, uh, I'm going to be doing case reviews for the Nexus 4, already got plenty for the S3 on there, so that's worth checking out and uh, thanks a lot for watching.